All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to scrape data when there's auto scrolling on a page. And this works in a variety of other contexts as well. Let me give you an example here. Go to GoFundMe.com. This is a great website, great company. Everybody's heard of it. This is how people get uh, often help with medical issues. I'm going to just pick one of these that has a lot of money raised. Let's go to this one right here. And notice we've got this, uh, this guy has 1,070 people who've donated so far to the cause. So let's say I want to scrape these donations. I'm going to click on see all. And notice that when I do that, if, if I just, if I want to get all those donations, let's go to the, uh, not source, sorry, let's go to the inspector and show you what you can currently get access to from this page. So let's scroll down here to the donations area and let's try and find it here in my elements. So it looks like it's right there. Let's zoom in to there. Go deeper there. Here. Looks like it's right there. And there. Still going right here. And there we go. We have three of them. Now, what I want, though, is all 1,070. Well, where did these three come from? I could try and scrape these. Uh, what you're going to notice, though, is if you pull up the uh, code in, an, in a notebook, you won't even see these ones. Let me show you what I mean. Let's open up uh, a blank notebook in Collab. New. I'm going to import requests, make a new request equal to uh, request.get, and let's put that URL right here into our request and print out the text. All right. Let's go ahead now and convert that to a dictionary so we can, or convert it to, to soup. Oops, from VS or import beautiful soup. And let's say soup equals uh, beautiful soup rec.text and print out the soup. All right, here we go. So as I scroll through here on the page, I want to find where those individual donations are. So let's look back at the page and see if we can find something like this. Kathleen Verleza. Let's go back here and just do a control F to find and see if we can find it. Here we go. Verleza right here in a div. Okay, not bad. So. I was able to retrieve just those three that are on the page. Well, if I'm going to get to all of them, though, that's going to be a bit more complicated. So come back here to this page, and if I click on See All, whoops, let me try that again. There we go. Notice that it goes to a different page right here. So it was very quick, and it it uh, it, it happened client side, meaning we didn't have to refresh or do a new server side request. But watch, notice how the URL changes when I click this adds on donations right here. Okay, so let's grab this URL and request that one next. So I'm going to go back up to the top, change this URL to that one, paste, run it again, run it again. All right, let's see what we got now. So I should have right here on this div, Along the bottom here, see top donations, see top. This should be the donations list that just popped up. And to double check, let's search for one of these. Luis Gomez. So that one's after the first three. We should be able to find that one now. Find Gomez. There it is. Sure enough, we can get to that. And I'm not going to go into the details but you can this is actually look what it's in here this is not uh html it's in a dictionary 
In fact, it's a JSON dictionary, which starts, let's see if I can find the beginning of it. Uh, this is kind of a pain, but once we find it, It's going to be easier to do it this way. Okay. What are all these guys? No, that's going to be too slow. Okay. A lot more. There, there it is. Back here a bit. Here it is, right there window dot initial state equals so this is in a tag called script which is in a looks like after this div ends anyway with beautiful soup i could go in and i could grab this text out of this script tag i could go and remove this windows equal initial state and then i could turn the rest of this all the way to the very end this is one gigantic dictionary uh, which ends somewhere around here anyway, that contains each of these donations in this list. However, this isn't all 1,070 or whatever donations either. When I go down to the bottom, watch what happens. You see that little, little three dots? It says it's thinking it's making a new request. It's a client side request because my page isn't refreshing but it's grabbing the next, I don't know, 20 or so donations so I can just keep scrolling through. What I wanna do is find out what request is being made right here to grab those next few donations. And I may be able to ignore all this junk that I just went through. You saw me taking forever to try and find my way through all this text. I may be able to skip all of this uh, extra HTML and go straight to that data. So let me show you how this thing's currently stalled out, but that's, that's okay. I'm going to close this down. What I want to do is pull it back up again, see all, and then I want you to go to the network tab, clear this out, and then let's watch what comes through when I scroll down. Let me clear that out again and start scrolling down. Go down to the bottom. Now it's just about to do its thing, so I'm going to clear it out once more and then scroll. Okay, right there that came through in one of these requests. So click on this, donations, limit equals 20, offset 200. Take a look at this right here, this URL. Look at the parameters, limit equals 20, offset equals 200. Sort recent. What does that sound like to you? It sounds like it's pulling down 20 new donations starting at the 200th because we've already got 200 up above here and it's ordered by recent. Well, what if I just grab this URL right here, put that up in the query string instead. I'll open a new tab. Sorry, put it up in the URL bar, enter. Oh, I didn't paste the right one. Let me try that one time, one more time. Let me go back. I must have, oh, I missed the first H right there. The mouse is on an uneven surface. And you know what, I'll just type it in. Add the H back in. All right, enter. All right, look what we got. Let's zoom in. This is a dictionary. It's a JSON dictionary that has a list of, it says references, donations, and then right here, a list of donations. I can skip all that HTML and I've got the equivalent of a simple API request. Well, what if I just come up here and say, let's offset start at zero and I wonder what I can change my limit up to. Let's go up to 100 and see what we get. All right, sure enough, starts at the very first one, starting with the most recent donation. And look who, do it, who it is, Kathleen Verleza. Just like when we came back here and saw on their page, Kathleen was the most recent one. So now all I have to do is make a loop that goes through and offsets by 100 at a time. So I can turn this, this URL into uh, an F string in Python, if you remember what that is. And then each time through the loop, I'll just add whatever my limit is to the offset. Now I got the next 100. J 
change this one to a two. Now I got the next 100 and so forth. And I can keep going and grab all of those until I get to the very end. Let's take a look at this and see what we get at, at the very end after the donations is meta tag. We have this little has next uh, key value pair equal to true. Well, what if we go all the way to, let's see if there's a thousand donations or 1,070, let's go start at 1,000. There we go. That took me a little too far because my limit is 100 and starts at 1,000. I can't go that far back and has next as false. So I can write a loop and just say while meta has next uh, equals true and have it keep going until it gets to this point and then stop. All right, so this is what I mean by uh, in the book as doing some sort of uh, sleuthing here. We open up the inspector, take a look, look at the network, and then just watch the behaviors on the page uh, come through the network that um, are retrieving the data that we want to get our hands on. And, uh, and that will point us in the right direction to where we need to go to uh, scrape the data. Uh, in a much simpler way than having to parse through all of this HTML junk right here. So let me just go ahead and add, do one more request here just so that you can see an example. I'm gonna copy that, go back up to the top, change this URL, paste, and I'm gonna offset. What I'll do here is I'll say, uh, let's make a start variable and Oops, let's say equals zero. Let's make a batch variable 100, so we don't do 100 at a time. And I can say while, uh, let's see, let's make a, let's make an end statement here. We'll say has next equals true. And I'll say while has next. And I'm going to make this request an F string so that I can put in some variables here. Change limit to batch, change offset to uh, what I call it start. Better double check that. Yep, start. Okay. Sort, I'll leave as recent. So now, uh, as I go through the loop each time, after I make that request, I'm going to, um, let's see, I'm gonna say print the request. This will just be the status. And I'll say print rec.url as well, just so I can see that URL come through. Um, maybe I'll put the request first. And then we got to make sure we increment our loop and check and see. Uh, so let's do the incrementer first. We'll say start equals uh, plus equals batch. So that will simply add the last batch we got to the start value so that the next time through the loop, it starts after the batch of 100 we just finished. And then down here, we've just got to check the results and see if has next equals true. So let's start by printing out right here. Um, has next. And then here I'll check. Uh, let's, um, let's say has next equals. We've got to, let's see, JSON load this thing. What did I do right there? That wasn't a mistake. Import request JSON. So let's say has next equals JSON dot loads. And let's pass in rec dot text. And then has next equals has next. Let's dive into the meta tag, which we got right here. So we have references and then meta. So we'll drill into meta and then drill down to has next. Okay, meta has next. So here I'm, I'm just gonna say while has next, and notice here the 
true false, the Boolean is lowercase, but Python needs it to be uppercase. So I'm just going to say uh, has next equals this. We'll print it out right here. And then after I increment batch, I'm just going to say if has next. Um, uh, if not has next equal to true, then we're going, oops, then we're going to say has next equals false. All right, and I better make sure I do double equal signs here. I think that'll work for us. Let's give that a shot, unless I've got some bugs here. So we got our first, uh, let's see, response worked, came through nicely. This true, uh, oh, it went ahead and cast it to a capital true. So I can change this to capital T. And then this URL, notice it put in, there we go, for 100, put in our batch, for start, put in our zero. So let's go ahead and run this one more time. No, let's see what I've got done wrong here. Oh, since true has been properly cast, right here when it grabbed this, it properly cast it to a Boolean data type, so I no longer need the quotes around it. There we go. Okay, so it runs through until it gets to the end. Grabbed 100 at a time. Notice it skipped each time from 0 to 100, 200, 300, so forth, until it got to the end. Now all you got to do is go through and write the code in this loop to extract out the information from the donations that you want and store it in your data frame. But I'll stop right here. This is how to uh, retrieve data from websites that use auto-scrolling.